It's often called a double defence. More than a thousand people were given a new vaccine from the UK's Oxford University, partnering with AstraZeneca. Data now shows it triggers two types of immune response. We're getting both sides of the immune system stimulated, and that is fairly unusual for vaccines. Double immunity would mean the vaccine prompts the production of not just antibodies that stick to the virus, but killer T cells that target infected human cells. Now, researchers have begun trials with thousands more people to find out whether it prevents coronavirus, whether it's effective for older people, and crucially, does the vaccine provide long-lasting results? What we don't know is how long antibodies last to fight coronavirus? After natural infection, immune responses can decline very quickly. But that doesn't actually mean that the same will happen the vaccine. The vaccine uses a different approach to stimulating the immune system. They're hopeful, but there's no guarantee of success. Viruses like the common cold still don't have vaccines. If everything goes well, a vaccine by early 2021? A vaccine later this year is not impossible. A lot of things would have to go right for that to happen and to be deployed in 2020, but we're still targeting that. While this morning, NBC News learning clinical trials will soon begin in America. In the next few weeks, there'll be a very large US trial starting in around about 30,000 people. The US government has promised a billion dollars for the Oxford vaccine and has signed deals for millions of doses. That raises a controversial question. Who and which countries get a vaccine first? And Hoda, to make that more complicated, there's some evidence from this early trial that two doses increases the effect of this vaccine. That, of course, though, would make it even more challenging to share it around the world.